Make your phone calls thereafter. Mm. Yeah, but when he know. gets voted, because you have become a trash and you are equal to the bribe you have taken. Because if they, they, as a they, police they... officer on the road, you take 20 naira, that is your age mate. That 20 yeah. naira is your age mate as at that time. But, you but know... if you were nice, you can get promoted because the man that you met on the road may be the brother of IG. As much as this, this matter had come up before, uh, and we took uh, INEC themselves now said, well, what we will try and do is to ensure that the sanctity of the secrecy of the ballot is protected. Mm. Because if politicians say, vote, then show me mm. before I give you the money. And in some cases, they give you half of the money and then say, well, after you vote and I see that you voted my party or my candidate, I give you the rest of the money. So that shows that INEC has a huge role to play. In that kind of circumstance, what does the voter do? Because if you say, collect the money and vote your conscience. Chamberlain, we have always been more reactive. Our policy thoughts in this country are reactionary. There are things that are fundamental. If, as we are in this studio, it's cool. If you allow me, I can afford to stay one extra hour because I'm not feeling hot. Perhaps my car doesn't have AC. Wherever I'm going to may be a very hot place, so I, I probably would prefer to uh, have my cooling here. But if you want me to leave, and you ask me to leave, I, I may feel offended. But if you turn off, turn off the AC, that the AC seems to be having some problem, it will not be more than 10 minutes before I remember that I have another appointment. And you will have no problem with me. You understand what I mean? So if you change the situation, people will respond to that situation willy-nilly. Uh, change the, the circumstance of the electoral process, and everybody will key in. And we have seen these things demonstrated in other aspects of our lives. Okay, that, we, that, we were in those days uh, when NITER was operating, people were not paying their bills. And they will accumulate bills, and they will tell people how they were seeing them in the dream, and they were pursuing They will laugh for more than 15 minutes. Bill was going. But now, you take over, yeah, please, I don't have credit. Call me back. Or so, so and so say, I should tell you this because I have no credit. So, how do we, we evolve? now manage our situation? How do you now change the electoral process? Go electronic. We have seen the ATM. He's talking to you, not the banker. So you can't take more than what you, are, you, 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 you deserve. Is that the evolution you're talking about? That's the evolution we have been Even when uh, the, the, the 2014 election, in this place, it was almost like a catechism. We are shouting it. They made one small progress and they want to go to BBC and announce it. We are so decrepit in our thinking at the level of the governance and the is, uh, policy is it, making. Is, isn't it enough for INEC to have said that, okay, uh, because we are employing the transmission of results mm. directly to the coalition centers, is that not good enough for a technology that we've employed? Transmission, before you serve your meal at the dining, what happened in the kitchen? Any good any good uh, customer will want to know whether there is hygiene in the kitchen before he sits in that air-conditioned uh, dining section. You understand what I mean? So what happened with other processes, even the build-up to the election? Election is not a do or die, even though it, ha it had once been vaunted. We have gone beyond all those shenanigans. We should be more developed and evolved as human beings. There is an egregious folly among the voters and the people in governance. And that is very unfortunate. We are you not know, growing. Some of the, because the electoral offense, I mean, we've been talking about it from who knows when. Yes. But some of the recent responses from INEC is such that the chairman of INEC only recently said that INEC is facing over a thousand lawsuits arising from the 2015 general elections. Mm -hmm. And that they like that prosecutorial responsibility to be removed from INEC to make INEC one more effective. Because he did identify that failure to enforce sanctions and impunity and violence often ensures that the electoral process is subverts the will of the people. Now, part of the suggestions to improve this is what they've come up with, the Electoral Offenses Commission Bill. Now, they think that that Electoral Offenses Commission Bill should link that responsibility of investigating and prosecuting all electoral offenses will improve the process. The fundamental the revolution will be in being transparent. As a regulator, as an umpire, if you are transparent, just like a parent that will tell his children, 
Look, I have my earning is 30,000 naira. We pay rent here 15,000. I'm left with 15,000 naira. I've given you a mommy 10,000 to fend for everybody. This 5,000 naira is for my transport. Look at my hand. But I'm working hard to go beyond this. But you know, politics, the children will believe. politics is not as easy. Now as I'm coming. The, 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 everything under the sun is resolved at an atomic level. Thinking makes them complex. Now, let me give you an instance. If you have an electoral process in which the umpire is perceived, because there are a lot of misperceptions or suspicions, depending on the divide where you are, that INEC will not deliver credible election in its circumstance. Rightly or wrongly, I'm not here for judgment. We will analyze when it happens. The point is that if you have a credible electoral process, you have less litigation. So what we are still doing is reactionary. Like I said, you mean bring, with this electoral bring, offenses bring commission 40, bill? 5 million courts. It will not stop armed robbery. But if you do certain social engineering, robbery will be completely attenuated if it, if it is not obliterated. What do I mean? If you depersonalize the electoral process, Remember that in, in those our government 101, we were taught that the, uh, the ballot box was the painless killer. You don't fight anybody. You lost the election, you go in with gloom. You understand? But you cannot fight anybody because you don't know who voted for you or who voted against you. In a depersonalized process, you just get the result and you believe, even yourself, who is supposed to contest that actually this is what like somebody may tell you, you are doing something wrong. That means you are a thief. Even if you fight him, you go to your bedroom, you realize that actually that thing I was doing is stealing. Let me understand. Are you saying that the Electoral Offenses Commission bill will not in any way solve this problem? It will solve it, but marginally. And the mental, don't go to court. Yeah, but if people Don't know, even do things that will make you go to court. But it's inevitable. It's in the human nature. If people know it that... Is, if you it commit is an not offense, inevitable. But if people know that, if you commit an offense, mm. you will pay for it. The, Isn't the, that the, the judicial process we have now can take care of those fringe cases. So we don't need this. If we have, I'm not saying that we don't need it. You understand? Anything that is contrived or proposed is needed one way or the other. <laughs> it depends on who and how universal the application will be into, you know, to solving the, the, the problem on hand. The point I'm making is, don't get to fighting point. Do things harmoniously so that you don't have reason to go to police or court. And it is doable. Are you talking For to example, the politicians now? Or both to politicians, the, everybody. To the Let me give you the, the, the banks used to have problems. You queue up, they call tally number and all that. They devised even the ATM now. People say you go there, you can evacuate all the money in the district. Is it true? It's not. Even when you have one million, there is a limit to which you can pick. And you'll be talking to machine. All right. So well, depersonalize the process. Use your ta valuable time for better management. We'll take more practical cases of what do we do to correct the process when we come back in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back. Well, Mr. Najee, if I next says, look, we, we can't handle this electoral offenses because we're pulled on every side. We don't have that kind of money to hire lawyers. Almost over a thousand cases is beyond us. Hence, we need that commission to take care of these matters. You say we need to prevent fighting yes. rather than get to that point of fighting. Better. So in this circumstance now, given where we are and seeing people saying, well, this party paid this amount of money and this other party paid this amount of money, how do we then get to that stage where that doesn't happen, given where we are now? You see, when you are fighting a, in a situation, you are trying to solve a problem. You have the preventing solution. You have the solution for now. OK? And that preventing solution is for tomorrow. Because you are already in a situation that may be bad, just like a patient who has cold. You need to be treated. But the doctor will not advise you to increase, perhaps, your vitamin C content and all that and all that and increase your iron intake. 
that is prophylactic. But the solution now may be to give you certain drugs that will help to kill if it is a viral infection or bacteria or whatever they need to treat it. So if INEC is proposing this as a solution for now, let them try it and get diverged from uh, the inanities involved in the day-to-day -day litigation uh, processes. However, if they now end their time, they should go back to the works to find out how to deliver credible election that will make that job of the people going for litigation and so on a little easier. Because a lot of things flying up and down, they smell like bullion cubes, but they may not be good at seasoning. Let me get your if views. If you get my drift. Let me get your views on this very important uh, issue just before uh, you go. 242 billion naira is the proposed uh, cost from Mr. President mm. to be spent on the 2019 general elections. Is it too much? Even one trillion, is it too much? In this country, the amount that will download the thing are still yearning for even more. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Thanks. I cannot uh, make any much comment on that, but I can tell you that even if you get one trillion, it will dissipate. You're already sounding, you. already sounding, like, <laughs> <laughs> already sounding electronic. You already said the man that will download it. So that already got electronic in his submission. Yes, so. because many people have handset. When the money goes oh, up, they download it and it disappears. Thank you for coming out this morning, Mr. Chairman. I just said, well, that, that's the show as well today. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Chay Berlin. That's all. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much, Maupe Ogun Yusuf. Thank you so much for watching. That's a digital barrister. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Ajuri Ngilale. The views and opinions expressed by guests on this program are those of the maker and do not necessarily reflect the views, opinions, and endorsement of Channels Television.